My friends, it has been a long time coming. I've spent years, literal years, trying to complete this anime Funko Pop line. And we are finally here. It was the best of times, was the worst of times. We laughed, we cried. I spent so much money. But the time has come. Let's go! Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't already met, my name is Bailey. Nice to meet you. I am a massive anime collector, but I am also a fan of things like Marvel, Disney, Sanyo, and much more. So if you enjoy that kind of content, make sure to stick around. And today, we are opening Sailor V, and I'm so excited. But as you can guess, Sailor V has been on my wish list for a while. But there were many others that I wanted first or came across my path at a more convenient time at a more convenient price. Sailor V is one of the most expensive out of all of the Sailor Moon Funko Pops sitting around $70 last time I checked. And besides Queen Beryl is the only other con exclusive. If I'm remembering correctly, she's a fall exclusive and that means that she would be NYCC. I don't remember which one Queen Beryl is exclusive to. If you don't know the lore behind Sailor V, let me explain. In Sailor Moon, she is a superhero. There are comics about her, there are video games about her, everybody loves her. But in Sailor Moon Crystal, they let you know that Sailor V is actually Sailor Venus in disguise and she's pretending to be the Moon Princess to protect the actual Moon Princess. Which, as you can guess is Sailor Moon, Usagi, Serenity, whatever you want to call it. There are a few key features across both pops that are different. Obviously there's the color. Sailor V's outfit looks a lot more like Sailor Moon's with a lot more blue features. But in general, just for the pops, Sailor V's bow, it's a shinier shade of red and she has blue shoes. She also has more of a crop top with a two layered skirt compared to Sailor V where it's more of a unitar kind of look with a V at the bottom and a single layered orange skirt. I ultimately decided that she fit best on my guardian shelf where I have the five inner Guardians and Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Chiefy Moon and I put her right next to Sailor Venus. Now if you know me and have been following me for a while, I have had many, 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 many different Sailor Moon setups and I recently had somebody ask me what my current Sailor Moon setup is and of course I will show you. I am more than happy to show you. Also because I'm getting a new staff soon so I don't know if that's going to be a completely separate video or if that's going to be included in this one. I will let you know when I'm done editing and also when it comes in. Yeah, starting all the way at the top, we have my Sailor Moon lounge fly. This is a handbag that I actually can't reach to show you. Our first shelf is the Outer Guardians. So we have my signed Sailor Neptune, and then we have two keychain compacts that are supposed to replicate their communicators. And I have the Sailor Neptune one and the Sailor Uranus one. I don't know why it's behind my Sailor Moon and Luna, which is the glitter exclusive. It's the last, actually it wasn't the last. It was one of the last Funko Pops I needed out of the Sailor Moon collection to complete it. And I love it. And I have two cards that were sent to me with a package of Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus and then behind them you can see I have two soda cans that were actually from my bachelorette party. Right in front of that I have some Sailor Moon kitties. So we have Neptune and these tiny figures right here that I don't know the name of but we have my Sailor Neptune, my Sailor Uranus, Sailor Saturn, and Sailor Pluto. And then we have my larger figures which are my Funko Pops and my cube baskets. For my cube baskets I have Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Pluto. And for out of box pops I have Pluto, Saturn, and Uranus. And that is the top shelf. Now let's go down one shelf. If you can't tell, I really like Sailor Neptune. She is actually my favorite guardian out of all of them. First up, I have this beautiful Sailor Neptune statue, which I got from A2046. In the back, I have a kind of replica of the silver crystal. Then I have this cute posket. It's actually version B of Sailor Neptune in her princess form. Then I have this transformation pen bottle opener, which I never actually use, but I love to have. Then we have the royal family and some villains and my Sailor Moon super disc set. We have King Dimion, Queen Serenity, Black Lady, Small Lady, and Queen Barrow. We have Sailor Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon, and a tiny Diana. Then on the bottom up front, we have my Sailor Moon Tiara, Luna, and Artemis, who's actually helping keep them crown up because it's broken, but don't worry about it. Then we have the keychains of Sailor Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon. We have this acrylic Sailor Moon sign that my sister got me for Christmas. And then a gift from a subscriber was a Princess Mars cute basket. And back there, we have my kind of replica of the golden crystal and then another e2046 statue of sailor cosmos and that is shelf two then we have shelf three initially this whole shelf was for the royal family but when i got that sailor neptune i couldn't do that anymore so now i have this shelf to add the rest of the royal family and i'm really bad with the different sailor moon variation names so i'm sorry i'm not gonna get them right but we have this sailor moon with her moon 
Dancing Kaleidoscope Sword Stick thing. I'm really bad with the names, I'm sorry. I think it's Super Sailor Moon, don't come at me. Then we have Sleepy Luna, the Funko Pop version of this one, and two more of the small figures of Usagi and Chibi Usa. Then we have a cute basket of Chibi Usa, another Sailor Moon, Luna with Moon Stick, and then Princess Serenity. And that is shelf three. Now let's go to shelf four. This is where I keep the rest of the Guardians. Now we have our last shelf, shelf five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I really have five shelves. And that is all of my kitties, but the big versions and the main guardians. So we have Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. And then over here, I have Sailor Moon as well. This was a gift, so I hadn't put it there yet, but I will at some point. And then I also have these keychains and a few other keychains that I'm not sure where I put, honestly. It's everything for my figures. Now let's move on to pins and other merchandise. First up, we have the Sailor Moon banner from Hot Topic. This Luna LED light that I got for my sister for Christmas that I haven't had the time to find a place for yet. Also because I'm moving some of my shelves around soon, so I don't want to put it up and then have to immediately take it down. Then behind here, we actually have a secret stash of Sailor Moon cups. So first we have Black Lady, then we have Sailor Neptune, and then I actually won a custom in a contest, and I got to do my two original cats, which were Patches and Nala. Yes, I know, it's not Luna. I didn't want to be basic, but then I accidentally became basic because I didn't realize how common of a name Nala was. We're not going to worry about it, and I still love this cup. And then behind that, we do have a large poster of Sailor Neptune. And behind that, underneath that, we have a moon rod, moon stick, transformation pen necklace that I wear sometimes. And over here on my pin board, I do have a black lady pin as well. And over here on my loft where I keep a lot of my lounge fly, I have my other Sailor Moon lounge fly here, and it has a heart on the back. And this is the only mini backpack I currently own. And look at the detail on the top. I love this bag so much. And we have my Sailor Moon makeup. First, we have the original palette and we have the glitter, which I love this glitter. I still use it now. And then we have the second collab, which I do own the full thing, including the lip gloss and blotting lips of both colors, both of the highlights, jelly, which I honestly don't like at all, and the second palette. And I have a whole video out on my YouTube if you wanna check that out about this right here. Oh, and I forgot this, but I also have the Sailor Moon Ocarina that got chipped, so there's that. If you made it to the end of this video, then congrats. You got the extra special Bailey lore. Oh, baby, what is Bailey lore? It is stories and random things from my life that have to do with a video topic because I still need this video to go another minute so I can monetize it. Thank you, I love you so much. It still has to do with Sailor Moon, I promise. My wonderful matron of honor, Haley, knows that I would want anything themed Sailor Moon, including my bachelorette party. So she rented out an Arab B&B full with a bunch of themed rooms but in the dining room it was pretty much blank and she changed it and turned it into a Sailor Moon themed dining room and I had my wonderful now husband as tuxedo mask yes and I'm really mad because I know she spent a lot of money and a lot of time on that poster and I cannot find it somewhere in the corner of one of the places in my house that I have things stuffed and I am dying to find it because I want to frame it and put it in our hallway it is the epitome of everything I love in this world and one poster minus my cats and if you watched the last long form video with my new desk setup and anime pins which if you haven't please go watch it because it didn't get a lot of views which i knew it wasn't going to get a lot of views but it took me forever to edit because i did voiceover for a lot of it so please go watch it anyway not me begging <laughs> but if you watched it you'd know i got one rose from a comic-con and she got me more roses because tuxedo mask and we were gonna play a game of like pin the rose on the tuxedo mask dante but we didn't end up playing that game and now i just have a bunch of pretty roses and i keep them in my pen cup. If you enjoyed this video, you'd probably like this one too. Thank you so much for sticking around and always remember, you are loved, you are valued, and you are enough. Bye!